Hi lads, in this video I'm going to go through the 2018 Ordinary Level Question 5. It tells us the graphics show the design of a logo for Cloud Key Online Data Storage. Part A, draw the given logo and then locate the points A, A1, A2, A3 and O as shown. And then part B, find the image of the given logo under the following transformations. 1. From point A to A1 by a translation. Part 2 is from point A1 to A2 by an axial symmetry in the line L, L1. And then part 3 from point A2 to A3 by a central symmetry in the point O. And then it tells us below all geometric constructions must be clearly shown on your drawing sheet. So basically show how did you find your points in each view. So to start the question I'm going to draw out what they've asked us to do first. So locate the points and draw in the actual Cloud Key logo. So I'm going to position this up around this section of the page here, there'll be loads of room for it. And I'm going to label that as point A and draw out what I'm actually given. So, first thing I know is the diameter 60. So I'm going to go across 60 there and then 30 for my center, for my circle. And I'm going to draw a vertical line down there. And draw my circle lightly first. Because it's not going to be heavy the whole way around. So there's my circle drawn in. Alright, just click focus there. Just. And there we go. So the next thing I'm told is that on the bottom there's a 30 mil line which goes 15 mil each side there and there. And where those points hit the base on the circle there and there on the circumference, I can connect those two together. And then I also have a line that's 10 mil, which is going to be 5 mil each side, give me there and there. And I'm just going to draw them two lines in light as well for now. And where the 30 mil line actually hits it, that's where the line is going to go heavy out to. So to there and there. And then after that, I can actually take up my center line, have that done there. And then this corner connects to here. And then with a smaller circle on the inside, which is basically going to be this radius here. That hits my vertical line. I stop there, so you can see it. And then it goes around the opposite side there. So it looks something like that. And then I'm going to have this line in heavy here. And this line in heavy there. Now I can draw the outline of my circle in heavy for the outer circumference. And that's the logo drawn in there and I have point A labelled. So for point A3 it's on this line and it's a total of 120. So 60 mil is out to L and then further 60 mil gives me A3. And then O is actually down 50 mil from A3. Let's label O there. And then further 50 mil down is going to be the position of A2. So A2 is going to go there. And line L, L1 are on the same one there. So there's L1 there, and A1 is level with A2, and it's in line with A as well there. So there's A1 now got as well. So the first thing I have to do for part B is from point A to A1 is translation. So you see all points are going to go the same distance, they're all going to go the same direction. So everything's going to go straight down, and they're all going to go the distance from A to A1, 
which happens to be a hundred mil basically, because that was this as we got fifty there and fifty there. So first thing I'll do is take down my center. And you can see there they're on the same line. So you could if you want to just to make sure, if you're unsure, just check and see automatically they line up there anyway. And then take my radius and draw in my circle lightly first. And now I can take down some of my key points. So if all the points move the same distance in the same direction, this point is going to be on the bottom. This point is also going to be in the bottom. And I can draw that across there. And I can take these down here as well, on the same line. So I'm going to take this is from A to A1. I'm going to swing this here. So you can see there above, that point there. And that gives me my two lines going out there and there for the outside. And now I can draw my internal circle once again. So once again I'm going to draw it in lightly. And I can see from the question, this point connects to here. So this point connects to here as well. And it's heavy to hit the circle. So there. And then straight down there. And now I can draw in. Just focus it again. Now I can draw in the outline in heavy for my actual circle. And then for my internal circle as well. And that's that part drawn there. <clears throat> After that then, we go A1 to A2, and that's going to be axial symmetry. And it tells us in the line L, L1. So basically that's our axis drawn in for us. So we don't need to actually worry about anything else. We need to divide up the line or anything that's already done. So we're going to be flipping it across this way. So first thing, I'm going to take my center across. So it's on that line. Extend it out. I remember for axial symmetry, each point has its own unique distance. So from the center there to my line LL1, step that across. And that'll give me my radius there, which is going to be this here. I'll draw my circle in lightly. And I can take across my line here that has my two points, and that gives me them automatically. And if you want just to prove it, that distance there gives me that distance there, which is the exact same. Now I can draw that outline heavy there. And now we can see that it's from this point that connects the centre. So I know that I'm going to be using this one here. So I connect that to my centre there. I can drop that one straight down now. And then I can take my points from my circle as well. So the internal point here. And take that across, that across, and then step out that distance there. This one is going to be the exact same. That goes down below there. And what I have now is I have this line coming out here and here. And once again, I have my circle. So once again, I draw it in lightly. And then my heavy distance is between there to there. And there to there. And then connect that and that. And then do my outside circle heavy again. And that's now showing axial symmetry, so flipping that image around that way. 
The last part then from point A2 to A3 by central symmetry in the point O. <coughs> so basically they want you to pass everything through O so that it ends up out here. So for example A2 pass through O to give you A3 so that distance from there to there is the same as there to there. So I'll do my centre first. So that's that. I take this distance on my compass, step it across give you that point there and I connect that to A3 I give my circle I'll draw it in lightly first and the next point I'm going to take is going to be this one here so you can see it's actually on that line already so what I can do is from O step out to there and you can see it's already marked off there on the opposite side so I already have that one next I'm going to take is this one here Pass it through O. Now you can see it's going to touch this point here. If I wanted to prove it, make sure I'm accurate. Take that distance, step it across. You can see, see it there. Move my hand out of the way. You can see across it there as well. And now I can draw that line there. So I'm going to have this line also going vertically as well. And the next thing I'm going to do is find a point on my inner circle. So I can take this here, for example, and then this one. So this one passing through O. Once again, take that distance, step it across, gives you that point there. And this one, step that across. Give you that point there. Yeah, right line. And then what I can do is, there's straight line is there. If I want to go straight across here, it's going to give me that line there, that line there, and now I have my internal circle. And once again, draw it in lightly first. And then draw in heavy where it's supposed to go then. So it goes heavy around to that edge there. Stops. And then goes heavy the rest of the way there. And then the inside part is heavy there. And there. And then the circle then on the outside is going to be heavy as well between that this there. And then around to there. What I'm just going to do now is put in just what I've done, each view, and then I'll use color to show some of my lengths. So A to A1, that was translation. This was axial, and then this was central. I'm just putting symmetry as well. <coughs> and if you have time in the exam, you can always just colour in what you actually have as well. So all I want to colour in is just the actual part of the logo that I have. Just that section there. And it just helps your presentation. If you do it nice and neat, it'll help with it. It helps you visualize exactly what you have drawn in, in case some of your lines are really heavy and some of them are hard to judge. You can see there, are the same outline colored in each time.
The last thing I'm going to do is just <coughs> show you some colors, how I got some of my points. So what we're saying for translation is all points go the same distance, they all go the same direction. So what I'm saying is the distance from A to A1 is the exact same, for example, as this point here to that point there. So they're the same length and they're both going the same direction. For axial symmetry, remember we have this axis here. So I can just draw in just line there. There's our axis. So we have learned in class, we have learned how to actually draw the axis. But they've given it to you in most questions in ordinary level anyway. So there's our axis there. And we always draw our lines perpendicular to our axis. So for example, when we're going from let's just say this point here to this point here that distance there is the same as that one and we can say this perpendicular there and you could also say these are all unique distances that the distance from there to there is the same as that one so they don't keep the same distance each time like in translation each distance is unique and it's the exact same with central. You're going to a central point and each distance has its own unique distance as well. So for example, if I take this point here, sorry, pass through O, there's your point there. That distance there is the same as that one. And then we're saying that and I just go through A. This distance here is the same as that one. So it's only in translation where you take the one distance all the time. For axial, they have to go 90 degrees to the actual axis there that you were given. So shown there going 90 degrees again. And then each distance is unique. So it's always the distance from the point you're taking to the axis and then step it across. And then for central, everything goes through that center point there. And for example, that distance from A2 to that center O is the exact same to there. The green one, that distance there is the same step across there. So hopefully that video helps anybody who may have been stuck on that question. If you have any questions, ask me on Teams, then I'll be able to help you.